squash in the past, you know how frustrating it can be when one day your plant looks very healthy and the next day you come out to your vegetable garden and the plants are wilted and collapsed. What has happened to these plants? Well, unfortunately, it is an insect and it's called the squash vine borer, which is a clear wing moth as an adult. The squash vine borer moth lays her eggs on cucurbits, which includes summer squash like zucchini, winter squash, some pumpkins, watermelon, and muskmelon. The female lays many small, flattened, round, reddish-brown eggs, and they're laid singly, unlike the squash bug, which lays in clusters. The larvae emerge after 10 to 14 days and bore into the vine, close to the base of the plant. They feed inside the vine for four to six weeks where we can't see them. We may be able to see the frass they exude from the vine, which look like a creamy, wettish, until it dries sawdust that gets pushed out of the vine. When you see that, you know that there are larvae in there. So what can you do about the squash vine borer? There are many things and it really has to do with how much time you would like to invest and what time of year you can concentrate on because it's not just a one-time thing and integrated pest management can be done throughout the year. First off, you want to pick varieties that are less susceptible to insects in your garden. You may also want to cover the plants with floating row covers before flowers bloom, before you're needing pollinators to protect some of those vines. Another thing you can do is scout early and put out some plastic yellow bowls that attract the moths so when you see them, you'll know that egg laying time is going to be near. You also want to know how to identify these squash vine borer moths because they blend in with many of the day flying moths and butterflies that we see in our flower garden. They are a reddish color and they have black forewings and clear hind wings. They have a red abdomen with black spots. If you're interested in treating with an insecticide, the only time this will be effective is during the time where the adult is actively laying eggs because the larvae feed in the vine, the only time they will contact a, an insecticide is when it's treated on the vine and gets the caterpillars before they bore into the vine. Other things that you can do are inject Bacillus thuringiensis or BTK directly into the vine with a syringe. This has been found to be effective yet very labor intensive. If you do see the frass and you are, want to perform surgery, you can take a knife and cut into the vine close to where the frass is and pull out the larvae. They are kind of chunky, cream colored with a dark head. You won't be able to miss them. If you do pull it out, you can save that plant. You just have to put the plant and the vine back and cover it with soil so it re-roots itself and it continue to grow. In the fall, make sure you perform garden sanitation and also before planting your next squash plants the following year, you may want to till one to six inches deep and destroy any cocoons that may be overwintering in the garden.